Yeah, I'm very proud and honored to be given this honorary degree from the University of Southern Maine. Even though I left Maine when I was only seven years old, I feel like I have really deep roots in the Maine culture. My father left Quebec when he was only 10 years old and came to work in the woolen mill in Lisbon. And he went on to become a journeyman plumber, carpenter, mason, electrician. He could build a whole house on his own and only had a third grade education. We migrated to California in 1946, I believe. Five of us in one car and when we got to California, I was put in public school, which I couldn't speak English, and I was the shortest kid in school, so I just ran away from school, of course. <laughs> My early life was in the outdoors, and I became a falconer. I would spend my grammar school days in the Los Angeles riverbed, gigging frogs and uh, hunting rabbits. and So I always had a life in nature. And I've been very concerned, like all of you, about the fate of our home planet. We're facing the greatest existential threat that mankind has ever had. And I think the solution is going to be, we have to start accepting the idea that we're part of nature. And if we protect nature, we protect ourselves. I think Mainers really appreciate nature as well as I do. So I've been involved in, in Maine, uh, in environmental causes in Maine. The Androscoggin River, where I used to live close by, is still polluted, although it's not as polluted as it was when I was there. We, we had a chance to help take down the Edwards Dam on the Kennebec River. We did that by taking out three ads in the national edition of the New York Times saying that the Edwards Dam should come out and we made it a national issue rather than a little main issue. And within two or three years, the dam came out. I feel pretty good about that. I've also been involved in, with the Atlantic Salmon Federation and taken out a bunch of dams on the Penobscot River. As you can tell, I'm, I don't like dams very much. <laughs> and now I'm hoping that the Maine woods will become a national park someday. It certainly deserves to be. I think Maine is a very different place than when I lived there. I'm really proud to know that there are now 10 B Corporation companies in Maine, including the Androscoggin Bank in Lewiston. I've always found that in business, it's easier to break the rules than try to conform to the existing paradigm. And in fact, it's been the secret of my business in that we take a different path. My best piece of advice is to also break the rules. Because the existing society that we have now isn't working very well. And only by taking a different path will we solve our problems. So all of you that are graduating today, the future is in your hands. Fate of the planet is in your hands.